incredible. I suppose even a raging river is no trouble for a shepherd. But you should still avoid using your powers in front of other people. Yeah, you're probably right. She is. If Earth Dwellers are there to freak out every time like this one does, I may slip my wrists. Seraphedna, I deeply regret my transgression. Yeah, you ought to. And we're already on a first-name basis even though we just met? You're awfully rude, you know that? Please forgive me. If you're sorry, then do the Norman Karena as penance. The Nor- What now? You don't know it? How disrespectful. Please forgive me. If you're sorry, then do the Norman Karena as penance. Edna, don't infinite loop the squire. Lila, you understand that Edna is toying with Alicia, don't you? Do something. Sorry, I just thought... Maybe if they had a chance to talk together, they might, you know, become friends. Alicia, this is just how Edna is. You can't take anything she says seriously. Spoken like a true Mebo. What's a Mebo? You don't know? Then do that. Okay, enough. Just a squirrel. No, don't you see? The fluffiness of the tail. It must be the Falcon squirrel. A rare sight indeed. Calm down. But look, it's so fluffy, poofy, adora poofy. Don't tell me you're not moved by its precious little face. I'm not. Unlike you, I don't feel a need to ooh and coo over cute things to make others think I'm cute as well. W what? No, that that's not at all. Shh. You'll frighten more poofy away. You're right. My apologies. If you're truly sorry, do the Squirrel Karena for me. The fluffy version. There's a Squirrel Karena? There's a fluffy version? Poor Alicia. She's so easy to toy with. Should we leave them like this? Understood, Miss Edna. Please teach me the Squirrel Karena. I wish to master this fluffy version. Are you sure? My training is very strict. I'm up for the challenge. I think it's all right. They look like they're having fun. True enough. This aroma. That's... Wow! Is this a shrine to Seraphim? Yes. It used to be a vessel of some sort. Used to be, huh? Long ago, there were many minor shrines like these for spreading the blessings of the Seraphim. Indeed. It used to be there were throngs of people offering prayers. The numbers might have dropped some, but there's definitely still people who pray to the Seraphim. Oh yeah, like, remember the shrine at Edna's Mountain? Someone left flowers there, right? That was me. Huh? That shrine is a stand-in for a grave. A grave for all the humans my brothers killed. Oh, I didn't know. I don't need any sympathy. It's the human's own fault anyway. You hear about a dragon, you wander over to check it out, you get gobbled up. Simple as that. Must be herbs around here. Hmm. 
Saray, look around you. Is that a monolith? Saray, look carefully at the ground. There might be something nearby. Is this because of the epidemic? Ugh. I take it that you're not good around dogs. Not particularly. Miklio's just worried about claws and effect. What? Telling. Please pick one. Okay. Oh, this one's blank. That means your spirit is pure and clean, like this paper. Oh, th thank you. She's gullible. Way too gullible. A hellion right here in town? Of course. Look how full of malevolence this place is. And that just now was a dog hellion, wasn't it? Right. That was a hellhound. The pathogen itself has assumed hellion form. Hmm. The plague itself? Let's hurry to the sanctuary and deliver the medicine. What are you doing? I'm fusing different types of equipment together. Oh, you mean the thing that's a royal pain and takes forever? By fusing equipment, you bring out its full potency and create something entirely new. Isn't it wonderful? Boy, I'll say. We Seraphim have plenty of time on our hands, so it's important to have hobbies. That's your hobby? Lila, sit here for a second. 
What is it? Just take a seat. So, you have a lot of Norman acquaintances, but don't seem terribly interested in Norman. Well, I mean, we're just friends, is all. What the? Just sit down already. Lila, you're underestimating them. Remember, we need to catch 50 of them or else. You really like the Norman, don't you, Edna? You even got one on your umbrella. You kidding me? I totally don't like them. Now, why won't you sit down? The last time I sat down, it was to pull an all-nighter. That's bad for fair skin like mine, so good night. Hey, sit down. That braised beef and potatoes we just had was delicious, and oh so flavorful. It was my first time trying it as well, but it was delicious. Really? It's your first time? Oh wait, right. I thought you always got to eat lavish food like this, Alicia. Like roasted rapig and fancy schmancy fruits, that sort of stuff. It's not like I eat like royalty every day, although I won't deny I am quite well fed. I'd never imagined that eating with friends like this could be so much fun. Happiness truly does lie within the nuances of everyday life, I suppose. Yeah, nothing like eating lots of good food with good friends. Definitely puts a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> a full stomach sure makes you sleepy, though. Let's rest up for tomorrow. Shall we return to our rooms? Yeah, good thinking. Good night. Good night. Alicia? Ah! Ah! Sorry, I didn't know you were getting changed! <laughs> it's okay. I was just grooming my armor a bit. Still, it was pretty brazen of me to just enter a girl's room like that. Then allow me to invite you into my room officially. Come in, Saray. If you insist. Was there something you wanted? Oh, I was wondering if you're okay with the pace of the battle. Let me know if you feel overwhelmed. I'm fine. My lance and armor are as good as ever. I've been wanting to ask you, actually. Your armor is pretty special, right? <laughs> you mean the transparent parts, right? This armor has been passed down through the Divda family for generations. I'm farthest from the lineage, but there's an ancestor of mine who is renowned for his courage and bravery. It was said he defeated a monster which turned anything it saw into black crystal. Black crystal? Wait, does that mean- Yes. It's said this is the armor he wore. It is part of an old legend after all, so only some parts of it remain. Do you want to see it? Sure. It's a lot clearer than I thought it'd be. I had no idea. Alicia, your meal is... Oh my! Sorry to interrupt you two! L lila it it's not what you think! Yeah. Guess you really should knock before entering someone's room. hard oh sorry for being so loud at this hour of the night it's fine if anything I'm reassured honestly I don't think I could beat you I'd always imagined that princesses enjoyed things like dancing in ballrooms and eating sweets but I guess I was wrong not necessarily most princesses are usually like that but that's just not me I usually bring up reforms and stuff like that even during those times so I tend to get on people's bad side I just want people to focus on the real issues in front of them. Alicia. Besides, this is just how I relieve stress, and I've become incredibly skilled with the lance as a result. Nonetheless, I must admit it wasn't the best idea to practice by myself in the middle of the night. Good night. In terms of her thoughtfulness and love for her country, she's truly an ideal princess. But... She seems like she's pushing herself pretty hard. Yeah, I'm a bit worried.
It seems there's a treasure chest near us. I think I just saw a monolith. Wait, that's... It's a monolith. Why don't we check it out? There may be some herbs out here. Be on the lookout for them. Saray, look around you. This aroma. Is that a monolith? There must be herbs around here. There might be something nearby. Lady Alicia, you made it safely. 
I've brought medicine. What's happening? We can do not stop the infection. The disease has spread to our ranks. We cannot even exterminate the wild dogs. At this rate, the entire kingdom may very well succumb to its ravages. By the stars. First, please distribute the medicine. Right away. Things will be okay. They've got resources now. Yes. And we can help dispatch the Hellhounds. And yet, I suspect that they are not the true source of this epidemic. A stronger Hellion, born of powerful malevolence. Dragon! No, it's just a Hellion. You can tell because the humans don't see it. It's landing over there! So this is Marland. It is a city rich in history, is it not? I believe even the Celestial Record mentioned it. Yeah, I always wanted to visit. Marland, the city of knowledge nestled amongst the holy trees. Their shining branches are as a beacon unto the fruit of knowledge and the flower of aesthetics. There walks this continent no true scholar, no true artist who did not once frolic in its sylvan depths. Well, the fruit looks pretty rotten right now, if you ask me. Pretty sure no one did. Even so, she's right. Maybe so. But flowers will always bloom again in springtime, and bear their fruit in autumn. Indeed, the cycle will never end so long as there remains passion for knowledge and beauty. Right? Very true. History has proven as such. I think you have flowers in your head or something. Don't you like flowers, Edna? I mean, they're fine. The pretty ones, at least. Don't tell me you're gonna fight it. It looks like a dragon to me. We don't know that for sure. You can tell me if it gets too dangerous. Wonderful. And I wind up with all the responsibility as usual. That Hellion is called a Drake. It's a younger form of dragon. It looks like the city's malevolence is energizing it somehow. Then we have to kill it while we still have time. Wait! Don't, Alicia! Hold on! Look oh, out! Crap! That was close. Sorry, we didn't mean to startle you. Huh. Again? Well, we gotta do something. Edna. You said that the malevolence in the city is energizing that thing, right? Probably. Then we should focus on purifying the malevolence. Indeed. I expect that would naturally weaken the Drake. Although it sounds like a huge hassle. Well, you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. The plan sounds good enough to me. Though your choice of metaphor less so. 
Even if we do manage to weaken it, we can't fight it if we can't bring it down. We'll find a way to accomplish that too. With everyone's help. Hassle times two. Slow and steady wins the race, Edna. Oh, yes. I prefer that metaphor to the one where we're eggs that go splat. Time to begin operations slow and steady. Guess that's all the hellhounds in town. The epidemic here should settle at least a little bit now. Yeah, but only momentarily. It was not done in vain. The malevolence has subsided considerably. Shall I help you carry those? N no, I'm just fine. A history of Monmouth culture and the works of Sir Geoffrey. Wow, it's the first time I'm seeing them. These are valuable books. I'm hiding them away so they don't get lost or destroyed in the war. Oh, then all the more reason I should be help- It's fine. It's a classified location. Don't tell anyone about this. It's to protect the books. Something's up. You think so? Don't you? She was all excuses and we didn't even say anything. I certainly never heard of any such secret library. I understand you wanting to trust her, but something's wrong. Kinda of funny to bury books in a graveyard. I'm similarly concerned. Let's hide and observe. All right. Don't kid yourself, Agatha. That's worth a thousand at best. Who's there? You're... So you lied to us about protecting the books? <sighs> it was always just my daughter and I barely getting by. I couldn't even give her one happy memory before she died. Haven't I suffered enough? Can I not have something good for once in my life? Malevolence! We're taking these back. I'll be turning you into the guards for misappropriation and theft. <laughs> I always knew. Someday this was bound to happen. The malevolence is fading. I don't need this anymore. Do you think you can return it to Naif for me? <sighs> Catching her quelled the malevolence? That's probably what she wanted deep down. To be brought to justice. Well, I guess that proves that she really did love books after all. Earth dwellers are such a chore. 